Hello, Happy New Year everyone, it's Martin Cooper here and again I'm going to use pattern form to look at one of today's races, the 240 at Wing Canton. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the race card and I'm going to look at the trainers, get an angle into this race looking at the trainers. We've got a Paul Nichols horse, quite short in the betting 13 to 8, but the trainer that catches my eye is Harry Fry. Harry Fry is absolutely banging form at the moment. If you click on Harry Fry on the Sporting Life website, last three runners have won. He's got another winner here, another winner here. His other horses seem to be running well, uh, are placing. If you look at the odds, the odds are quite prohibitive. I think Harry Fry's horses are certainly shortening up these days. So, I've already got an angle into the race and I'm going to use pattern form to see if I think uh, Blue Buttons is certainly worth um, having a punt on and taking on the favourite Earth Moves. Earth Moves, very unexposed, coming from the Nichols Yard. It's a pretty obvious favourite for many reasons. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the distance. And I'm going to look at hurdles. Now you'll see that I've gone 2 miles 4 to 2 miles 6 when it is a 2 mile to 4 race. Uh, that is because of the going. It is heavy going today. Um, so the ground is going to be very soft, probably heavy. And I'm going to look over a 2 year period. And if I look at that, I'm going to click on blue buttons because that's the horse that I'm interested in. I can see it's got some, some useful form. Uh, it's one at Taunton on good ground. Um, but his last two runs are quite interesting. Uh, a 4 out of 10 in a handicap at this class. And it was second in a class 2 over slightly further at Wing Canton where it's running today. So there are certainly some positives there. There are certainly... Um, some pointers to maybe have a little bit of a further dig in the race card. Certainly those last two races. Let's have a look at the going. I'm going to look at heavy and soft. What are the form? Over hurdles, races, heavy to soft. I'm going to go two years here. And again, looking at blue buttons, which is the horse that I'm interested in. Um, it's got that four, that, that four out of ten at Sandown last time out. But interestingly, I can see it's got some form on heavy ground, admittedly a shorter trip, but in a listed novice hurdle, class one. Now, this is a class three, so it's a big drop down. Um, and it's one on soft ground at Exeter, again over a shorter trip. So, again, there's some positives there. Um, and very quickly, I'm going to look at its, its course form. As I say, this is a very, very quick analysis. I'm keeping it short because I'm aware people probably aren't going to watch a 20, 15, 20 minute plus video. Um, they're more likely to probably watch a video around five minutes. So I am keeping this short. Um, if we look at Wing Canton, so again, blue buttons only run twice at Wing Canton. Uh, it's got that second, so I'm going to go back to the race card and have a look at that. So, what I've established using pattern form is that it does have form on the ground. It does have form over this trip. It's certainly running higher class races. Uh, let's have a look at his last two runs. So, at one canton, and what's really interesting here, it finished second. Just three lengths behind Polly Peachum. Now, Polly Peachum is a very, very progressive hurdler. And it's ranked 155. That is its, um, its handicap mark at the moment. Now, going back to this race, you will see that there is nothing that is ranked even close to 155. So, that is a big positive for me. Uh, running on softish ground. At Wing Canton over a slightly longer trip, and let's look at the last race that it ran at Sandown. And again, looking at that, there is certainly 
that seems to me to be a fairly decent handicap. There's some decent horses in there. Um, Blue Buttons was the favourite, didn't win. Uh, but there was certainly, you know, it was a decent handicap. Mare's handicap was that. Again, soft, heavy in places, and I think it will probably. Could. So, Blue Buttons to me, it has. Let's just quickly go back here, and I'm going to look at how it does. Um, I'm going to look at how the horses do in a class above and see what the class horses are. I know it's a class three, and I'm deliberately looking at class one and two. And if I do that, let's click on the win. Let's, no, nothing there. Blue buttons would stand out to be a class horse. It's got it, it's run at Cheltenham, um, five out of eighteen, slightly longer trip. That's the second to Polly Peachum. And it's one on, it's kind of got a second on heavy ground in the listed. Certainly, um, whoops, it would seem to be the class horse in this field. Now, I've deliberately looked at that. It's running off, I think, a very competitive mark. It's got a claimer on board. Earth moves, yes, I think it's an obvious favourite. It comes from the Nichols yard, it's fairly unexposed. 13 to 8 for me is quite prohibitive. Another horse that I think probably be worth looking close more closely at is Vault Face. I think David Pipe's got quite a good record in this. But I think Blue Buttons, it has class, it runs on soft ground. And it's got form over the distance, and it's got recent form over the distance. Um, and at six to one, I think that's quite a decent bet. Uh, I have kept this short. It is a very quick and dirty analysis. So if you're leaving comments, please try and be constructive. Don't say, why didn't you look at this horse in more detail? You could do that. Um, I want to keep this short so people encourage people to watch it thank you for watching as i say leave comments interesting to see how this one turns out uh, and good luck with your punts for today bye bye